Hey folks, welcome back to Ostrov. I think Yaroslava here just answered a question that I had. Can you still get water from a frozen river? I think she just arrived from there carrying a hundred water, so I guess that's possible. Anyway, yeah, long time no see. I had a couple of very busy days at work, like a, a month's worth of busy in about two days, and got so run down from so little sleep that I somehow came down with what I'm pretty sure was COVID and it 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 knocked me on my butt so spent a couple of days not really being able to even talk as soon as I would start to say something and my throat would tickle and I would start coughing so couldn't record so I'm going to give this a try today try not to get too excited yeah like I get excited and uh, see what we can do anyway um I was wandering around trying to remember what on earth I had been doing last episode which was what four or five days ago six days ago something like that and <clears throat> came across Yaroslava there because it's time to take this guy down the old farm we've got five workers and four laborers all trying to clear out the last of the goods which is a good thing i'm glad to see that they actually empty their own building so remember early on one of the very first episodes we were trying to empty out the thatchery that was right here to get it moved over here and i could not figure out how to get that stuff out of there if i only really known i could have just fully employed it and they would have emptied it themselves well yeah lesson learned anyway you're going to empty and you're going to go away and this fence is going to go away which was a mistake to put in to begin with because it was to direct traffic around a place that's not even going to exist anymore but this one is where are we end of january the plows are in place i've gone through and set up all of the fields again got a rotations of three and a single rotation that does not require plowing so that the workers can immediately start sowing this field over here same thing over here this one does not require plowing and these three do so that although that does mean every fourth year that's not going to be a thing whereas over here yeah well, same thing it's going to be fallow at some point so it won't always work that way but it will do a pretty good job um made quite a few changes in between just kind of run this nice and slow and let uh, let them go about their lives down there um this mess over here bugged me it really did and I, I spent a couple hours after last episode and just kind of cleaned things up went through and straightened up the fences in here and aligned this guy better and and just kind of played around with things reset some of the bushes I did stretch out the the uh, market stalls here and got, I think we did that on camera last time didn't we I got everything reloaded <clears throat> went up through here added a couple more stalls uh, this guy and this guy and so rather than change things around too much I just added some more variety so now if, I think we've got actually a couple of spaces available yet but there are more things that are gonna come we haven't we haven't hit it all yet there's pottery there's there's other things that need to be sold in the markets um, but what I decided to do here someone brought up the idea of why don't we have a significant church by now with this big of a town now the tavern uh, all the roofs are, are white the tavern does not even work until a population of 200 the barber surgery does not work doesn't actually say that here interesting it says it in here at 200 it will be uh, settled but you think it would be a red thing on it just like this need 200 population so anyway whatever happened to our alcohol did we not have a ship arrive we did the river's frozen now is it sitting in here mead 600 
I guess alcohol will not arrive until we hit 200. Otherwise, it's sitting right here. Okay. So, we do have enough alcohol in the local market, whatever that means. Actually, I'm not sure what that means. In the local market, do they actually mean a market stall? Or do they just mean in the economy? So, we'll figure that out. When we cross 200, we'll see if, if bells start to ring or something. <laughs> but, um, I don't know if the chapel will even work until we hit 300. What is the 300 thing? Uh, with the, not chapel, the... It's not church. Uh, what is it actually called? It is called the Wooden Church. Okay, I, I think of it as a cathedral. It's a big building. Um... They're <clears throat> down to wooden. It's not going to be nice, is it? It's, it's not going to play nice to me here. Wooden church. Okay. Church. There we go. So, allow citizens to fulfill their religious needs. Building at least one church is required to grow the population beyond 300. Okay. A priest and his family will move in as soon as the construction is completed. Okay. So, I wasn't sure if that was a... You know, it couldn't the priest wouldn't move in until we had 300 population or what, like like these requirements. But the church I had planned on putting up over here somewhere, somewhere right up in this area, somewhere up on the hill. You can see it, and bridge heading over to it, and houses down and around this area, and and you know another bustling community growing in here. But until then. We have the chapel idea right here. And I got to thinking we could spread several of those out around this map. I mean, each community would have its own little chapel. So I've got one placed somewhere out over here. Uh, not pause. Go to you. Right in there. So I have a little chapel in this area that these roads all kind of feed up into. And I thought about, you know, it should be where all the roads kind of meet, but that's really what this is. They all kind of roll into here before they go into the market. So he already is fulfilling that need. So there's another one at the back end. And then one down over here. And the when I realigned all of this, I got to thinking, well, we've got this spot over here, but that just feels like an afterthought. It doesn't feel like a place you'd want to put a little church. It needs to be more prominent. You know, these folks would have made it a uh, you know an important part of, of their lives and right across from the school seemed like the best place and I'm kind of not liking the way this lined up anyway so I've repositioned two small granaries and a cart parking over there I'll go ahead and pull these two out move them over put the little chapel right here decorate this area for it going into the market so it just it just feels like the right combination there. So I think that's what we're going to do at that point. Um, what else has changed? Uh, we are filling the kiln one more time, the lime kiln. So one load of charcoal I see is already in there, though you can't tell with the snow. And we're work working on limestone now. So time to get these guys up and going again. Down to 9,400. Um... Interesting. I wonder if we're only going to work on stone now. Because it's first in line. Uh-huh. Let's take you down to 4,500 and see uh, see what happens. There's already a load 4,800 coming in. Okay. We'll do something like that. Nah, something like that. And that should be the last load of stone coming in, which is that they're all doing stone. Okay. So once the stone is done, we'll start doing limestone. I really want them to start doing that because I want to get rid of this so that I can run a bridge through from this area out to the middle. So that's something I want to do in the future. We need to get to work on that, but we're going to be using a lot of charcoal now. So you, she, 10,000 firewoods already in here. She will actively go and get it. And she is taking a rest right now. <clears throat> and you're also firewood, right? Yeah. 
and you're full. So, and you are empty. No, those are logs. So 8,600, okay. So between the three of them, there's more than enough firewood to keep these four charcoal pits going. Good. All right, so what else is happening? Um, we had a trade that finished last time, and there's still... I, I went ahead and added a couple more to the sunflower oil that we had dealt with just to get some more happening there with... Was it Black Leah? Yeah. So that's all going. Um... How are we here? Ready to tear this down yet? No. Nope. Eight people, seven people, acting like they're doing a lot of work, but they're taking a long time moving this stuff. They really are. 59 is reserved. Yeah. They're, uh, they're taking their time. Now, I put 800 potatoes in here, and that made it. Good. 1,200 flour made it. Good. So that's all up to date now. So what else is going on here? Oh, I know. That's right. We've got the new chicken coop built and never took the, uh, never got around to filling it. So let's hire a worker. Get uh, this one. We want 500 water in there and no wheat. We want barley 500. We want buckwheat 500, and we want linseed 500. So we'll get that going. Let's go ahead and give them, give them laborers as well and just get that one done. Uh, someone will hire in there probably pretty soon. And once that's done and they start to fill up, we can move some chickens around. Um, what else? We are first week of February. Boats are in decent shape there. And we got one that definitely needs work. There's nobody in here the very first month, right? Do we start in March? We start in March. Okay. And you guys start in March too, right? Yeah. Okay. So March, that one boat will hopefully get repaired. <clears throat> Most everybody else is off work in March to start the, the uh, sewing process. You guys are still up and running. 81 wheat and... 240 wheat. Wheat is stored where? It's just stored in the farm, right? Yeah, and we are done. Yeah. Interesting. There was still a little wheat sitting in here, right? There is, and I wish that somebody would come and get it. But otherwise, we're kind of low on on keeping up with these guys. So it's probably time to start slowing this down a bit. Let's take you down to one worker per and wait till the wheat builds up a little. That way we can keep you employed. So we'll give you something to do. Otherwise, what is being built right now? Our last house over here. Okay. That'd be the last family move in for a while. Small granaries. And what was that one? Oh, the warehouse. I wanted to put uh, firewood in for these two. And did this ever build up firewood? Yeah, there's 7,500, so it did happen. Okay, <clears throat> that took a while. What's happening over at this one? We had problems with this last time. Couldn't keep up with the logs, and then we had too many logs, and they just sit there doing nothing. And they're doing that again. Yeah, so one more try here. This is February. Yeah, so a whole lot of sitting around doing nothing. Okay. So let's give you three months off in a row and let one guy just work on firewood throughout that whole period. And then they'll catch up in the months after that. Trying to find that balance when there's nothing that they're going to do after 18 logs. Because they're not near any of the new construction sites. Later, they will be. When we start building out in this area, they're going to become the... The, the alpha forestry and these guys will kind of go into you know into idle mode but for right now these guys are the ones that are that are running everything chopping a tree you guys are working on the warehouse I assume are you actually going up that far I was wondering about that uh, let's speed you up a bit let's see where you're going oh you're taking a rest chopping a tree right there 
So, you're not the closest construction site, but you are the next construction site. So let's see if you guys are actually going to take out that warehouse. Which is, I'm twisted around here. Over there. It sure looks like they are. Okay, good. And you are house is finished and we've got a couple that is married and moved in. Great. And the tree is down. Someone else will come pick that up soon and this will start getting built. And then what? The other of the small granaries, the cart shed or cart uh, parking. And then get on to that first chapel. So that'll be the next job that the forestry is working on. The well... I wanted to put a well in a little bit closer to the farm and closer to the sheep farm to kind of back up the unknown of whether or not I could get water out of a frozen river. It does say water is infinite, even though it doesn't make sense. But it just felt right to have a backup supply <clears throat> in this area. And it's not too far away from the houses over here that might use it too. What else? Uh, you are a hay dryer. We've got Oh, the small granary that I never built over here. and Don't know that I really need it, but it may be one more source to draw uh, product, uh, foods, from the houses over here that may or may not reach all the way over here as far as being able to buy them. So that should be fine. Hopefully we can have these all swapped out before we get to next September, October. And so we don't have a, a delay in being able to purchase these, these crops from them. Um, then we've got a couple of orchards that, boy, still 10 trees left there and 18 trees left there. So then the ash tree that we never built for the soap works that never got up and running. <laughs> so this is an industry we'll play with at some other time. And I think this is where these are going to go. I'm not sure. It, it seemed like the right thing at the time. I guess as we get a little further into this, if I have to make changes, I'll do it then. You are one person, but we're down. We're less than 18 logs. Okay, I'm just going to live with that little exclamation mark. It's not real. It's not important. You are done and ready to tear down. Okay, so let's unhire all of you. And just in time, too, so you're available to work at the other place. And let's go ahead and demolish you and move you to next in line so we can use those building materials. You can also demolish and move you right after that. Tear all those down. Good. Um, so we're getting close to Marifa. Getting close to sewing season. Marifa, let's see what you've got for us. Live chickens, hemp, chickens, we need to move chickens, hemp, wheat. You're selling wheat. Sure, why not? Let's just do it. We're actually looking really good in the treasury right now. So let's bring in, let's bring in the whole thing. And let's go ahead and re-employ these. I like that better. So you guys... I'd rather keep you guys working. I'd rather keep the flour being produced and selling it and, and as well as always having that as a food uh, variety for our peoples. So let's do that. And you offers of honey. We're doing fine on honey. Textiles, broadcloth. It's the broadcloth right there. I'm pretty sure that it's the sheepskin that we're looking for next. Uh, there? Yeah. Plenty of broadcloth, but we're, we're done with sheepskin. Okay. Otherwise, we are working on textiles. We have textiles we're working on clothes. Okay. So that's good. Over here, Marifa. Nothing else we want to buy from you then. To sell to you... Mm, we'll keep that if it's only 500. Buckwheat flour. No, we'll keep that. Chicken eggs, horseshoes, iron, metal parts. Nope, we're good. Okay, that's the end of that one. We are coming up on March. And chickens. Right here, we have food, we have water. We're good. And apparently, they didn't get the memo. Only women work here. <laughs> okay. Sorry, dude. 
Yep. Um, I clicked the wrong way. Right click you and left click you. You are hired all year round, so no um, seasonal hiring. And that's all I need to know. Okay. <clears throat> soon as that hires and I wouldn't think that would take too long in fact I don't think I really need somebody working there in order to get the chickens transferred because the supplies are here but Yaroslava took the job okay that's the same Yaroslava she was way over there again yeah um Yaroslava where do you live you live over here you sure you want to do the chickens way over there <laughs> okay, she needs a job. Hello! Um, let's move 10 out of each of these chicken coops. Um, where are the chicken coops? There you are. So, yeah, 10 and 10. And relocate you to there. Now, can I remember which one I did? I think it was that one. All right. So, 10 of you. Relocate you over to here as well. Yeah, that this time of year when there's snow and grass and just kind of with this mottled look, it's kind of hard to tell what is what. All the roofs look the same. All right, are we there? We're not. Roll in a little bit faster. And I didn't sell anything. There's nothing I needed to move. No, we're just importing a bunch of wheat. Okay. And there's March. So, slower down. This field is the no plow and is fallow. Didn't get to test that one. This one is the same thing. <laughs> Don't need to plow it, but it's fallow. So, I can't... I did not already hire a bunch of laborers and get this going immediately because both of them hit the same year interesting okay well logs you're still at 17 out of 18 you're fine um in that case there's a whole bunch of people i doubt there's anyone not doing anything they should still have plenty of other sort of um you know, labor sort of jobs to do. I mean, especially with this one. 200 going in from laborers. There's no limit to the laborers here. No no way to choose. No. Oh, there it is. So, I would expect a whole line of laborers here to start filling this thing up. Because they're not working the crops right now. We've got to plow this field and... Whatever happened to the... Oh, we were, we were late. Okay. Interesting. Everybody was resting. Same thing here? Nope. They put, they got started at about the same time. Good. Okay, so that's happening. But still, this one I would expect to be a very dominant job. As well as all of these. One person. Uh, need to be emptying these as well. But this won't show the person who's hired to empty it. It would be a place like this. That would show somebody hired to do it. You're buying, you're buying firewood. <laughs> That's interesting. But so you went home, then came back to buy firewood. You're buying it from here instead of from your local market. So I wonder why that is. Firewood right there. We don't have any. We have nobody working here right now because these are not perishable. So we've let this person off for the month to go help with the harvest. Interesting. So what are all these people doing right now? I see a whole bunch of people moving things. Oh, here's the chickens coming in. Interesting. And these guys are still employed. So they're still moving things about the city, the town. Um, but it'd be interesting to see what everybody is really doing. You are moving mead. Okay, well let's watch the chickens get delivered, and then we'll go and, and uh, sleuth out what everyone's doing when there's no sewing to be done, and everybody is, has been uh, fired. There's a whole bunch more... Wow, we just populated. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so you're hired, you got foods, you're good. And that is buckwheat and barley, good. Um, so, where is everyone? And what is everybody doing? You are on your way to work on the limestone. Okay, you are as well. So this must have quite the, wow, there they are. They all found work. Okay, until the plows are done, which is almost, the cows are out. Everybody's going to make a run down there and put a load. 2,850 limestone on the way. <laughs> so you guys need to gather and get some more limestone. Yep. They're bringing it in, but it's, it's leaving at a much faster rate. Um, you guys over here, not at the moment, but you are... There's only 52, 5,300 limestone left in here, and this will be done. So that's... We're going to need three runs of 5,000. This is the first run. So, yeah, that'll be taken care of here real soon. So you are telling me what? That nobody is here to take care of the cows. That's what it is. Otherwise, we're fine. Water and food. Though hay isn't really food. Hay is something that they bed in. But, okay, well, we'll go with that. So plows are on their way in. And... Actually, so this one should have hired, or should be calling for, for laborers. There we go. And we've got a limit on this. I'm going to take that limit off. So that is here. Let's take you up to more like 10. Get this done at a much faster rate. And soon we'll be calling for them over there. And they'll shift around as they're available. Now, <clears throat> I could limit this one so that... It guarantees that they're available for this one. I don't know if that's going to be as necessary. We're closer to a lot more houses now. So I'll be curious to see if this works out better this time. I'm not going to see anything till the plowing is done over here, though. So speed things up. You, actually, you are being worked on first. Uh, right there. Got one guy left. Let's bring this up to two. Let's add another worker for the off-season. Good. And he hired real quick. He must have been available. <clears throat> Though there's plenty of jobs. Well, I guess as fast as we're filling them, they're filling them. So, wow. Quite a population moving around right now. Yeah, this one is available. They're going to start sewing this one. Yep, they're going to get started. Finishing up the last few passes. Here they go. Starting on this one now. Over here, I see a plow coming home. So, oh, wrong one. Right there. There's the slots that are available. Who is able to get out here without me having to bribe you with half the town's treasury to do it? Not that that worked. We tried that. But what is the wages right now? 120% on laborers and they're doing it. That little bit of difference in distance. Look at the difference there. It's huge. Wow. We never got those results last time. So that was it. It is definitely a distance thing. Moving it that far moved us closer to another group of, of houses. Maybe even touched these. I don't know. Could have. But look at that. The army of ants are out there planting everything up, and we're good. Okay, so, and you are going to be torn. They just pass right through it like it doesn't exist? Interesting. Huh. So once it's slated for demolition, it's no longer an object on the map. Um, so you're done. Getting started here next. Okay. What else? How do we do here? We have slowed this down tremendously because the farms have taken precedent. We have filled up this one. Going to be filling this one next. You still have 10,000. You still have 10,000. You 
Still have 10,000. Where's all this firewood coming from? <laughs> Completed a hay dryer. Cool. So, is that all the hay dryers out here now? I think so. Yep. So, we got five hay dryers for this side, all surrounding the, uh, the field over here and closer to the hay barracks, which is almost full. So, we're, we're fine on hay. And I pulled these hay dryers out. We need to figure out where the hay dryers are going to officially be on this side. They're just kind of sitting in sporadic places right now, but we don't have to worry about that too much soon because we're 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 sitting pretty good on hay. Um, <clears throat> and it could be that we'll put one back in here or something. So where did we actually end up over here? We are on the charcoal gathering limestone. We finished another layer of charcoal and now we're at our second layer, I believe, of limestone. Okay. And we're rolling out of here. Um, where is she? She is supplying resources. So she's off to get firewood. No, she's off to get a cart. Ah, uh, that's killing us. No? No, there's carts here. I don't know what just happened there. She should have got a cart, one over here, loaded it, one over to her place, dumped it off, and dumped off the cart. Anyway, from... Paniatine. <laughs> Pan Pania yeah. From that place. Um, what, you, what you got for us? Slow this thing down. We don't have onions to sell. We don't have carrots to sell. We don't have apples to sell. Broadcloth, warm clothes. We'll save our warm clothes. Flour to sell? No, that's about where it was before. We haven't processed that much or we've been buying a lot. Sunflower oil. Oh, we could sell you 500. Could do that. Deal. And get me over to the river trader. Put 500 in here. Sunflower oil. 500 temporary stock. And what else to sell you? Don't see anything. Buy from you. Salt, iron ore, honey, mead. I don't know how much mead we really need. I do know we're not going to be able to make it for a while. We are at population of 195. It's just not... What if I need to put mead into the market in this way? Let's just test that theory. Right there. Is it possible? Or is that only sell? No, it is possible. Right there. Okay. Let's put mead into there. And see if that's what it means by being on the market. And seems like I had one space left somewhere. Let's put a mead in here, right there, and we'll just we'll just see what happens. Um, do I buy more mead? I'm sitting at 4,300 storage up in here is plenty. So. 2,500, 2,500. Um, let's... 4,000. Well, 4,000 that. And we will buy from them another 15, and it'll be 100 in each of those stalls, another 1,700 mead. Deal. Okay. Okay. And then I'll find out that, oh no, mead doesn't actually sell in the tavern. That's... <laughs> or some crazy rule that you just don't know. Any hints? Uh, no, we sell all three of them. Okay. Um, was there a number there? Population 200 and have to have with alcohol available. So to me, that looks like more than one. Not enough. So, yeah. Anyway, so we are into April. Things are working fine now. We don't need that second month for sewing, do we? I don't think we do. Let's... Oh, it was only for harvesting. We are back to work. 
Okay, good. How long have I been going? Only 36 minutes. Okay, this time it's the opposite. Normally I get out there 50 minutes and it feels like I've been going for 20. This time at 36 minutes it feels like I've been going well over an hour. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I'm, I'm worn out. Um, a lot of smoke coming out of... Interesting. Did it finish? It finished. We were seeing the remnant of the smoke. That's why I was looking for its source and there wasn't one. Anyway, you... No laborers are available. So, yeah, everyone's found a job again. Now you... 12 logs left. And then everyone's going to come back to work in April. And hopefully... Oh, we just happened? We just happened. Okay, and hopefully we start to demolition a farm and well and start to refill this this stack here. Okay, so that just went down and we're done over here. You can go away. The benches that would never show up can go away right there and there. And we have a couple of pine trees. Okay, so that area is done. This is now functioning properly because it's it's located in the right place. I had that suspicion all along, but it was a good chance to experiment with that. Good good thing to, to figure out in the game. There definitely are limits. It'd be nice later to have a when you when you go to place something like the farm to have a big circle around it. So a, a sphere of influence so you know from where it's able to draw its workers. If since that is definitely a thing. So more information is always better. Anyway, you guys are working on what right now? Waiting for a partner. We're all waiting for a partner. So theoretically, you're working on this guy next. Did the little chapel, it got, it got chopped. It just hasn't been built. So we are working on the warehouse now. And we've got a big crew over here. Though one person is doing the work of the whole crew at the moment. They have been filling up firewood over here good this one got done too which means they probably emptied this place out now oh, and we've refilled it again good so once once this gets built and gets full of 10,000 firewood then we'll be able to back off on this and have enough cushion to be able to fill things up we won't need to hire him very often it's going to take quite a while to go through that, that wood. Okay, so you're done, right? You are. So what's that look like? I got this guy in here. This is the brickworks. And got him in here. We've got firewood storage, which eventually is going to be... You guys just went and got a log. You... How is that possible? I don't know. They couldn't have built this if that log was still sitting on the site. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> but this will eventually become... Uh, uh, let me pause a minute. Will become uh, brick storage as well. I want this to be a woman. And I want it to be firewood and 10,000. And no laborers. Just worker by cart. Okay, get you going. And once we do that, fill that up, we'll reevaluate this one. Yeah, so we are at April. I think it's fair to say we're good with that, but we'll, we'll test that one later. Uh, did, you, did you feel? You did. And we should see Olesia grab a cart and start filling things up or just sit there what the other one's dead immediately dead what is what am I missing here we have no carts we had no carts yep she just needed a cart so does this area need more carts let's evaluate that a little bit you guys will be using carts to fill all these things up, quite potentially. And you don't. You really don't. That's all labor by hand. 
though they are delivering wood with the carts. Yep, yeah, it's quite possible we could use another cart shed or cart parking out over here. Um, exactly where is always a question. What would look good to have a little roof like that somewhere? Something like that would work good, you know, up against another building, so it looks like it's an extension of that building, kind of like this does. So where would a an extra roof look good? Even if it's the backside of this, just to make this building look bigger. It's kind of an interesting idea. I don't know that I want to do that, but if I did, what would it look like? And let's see, tap you over. It would be something like that. Yeah, I don't know that that would really make it look better. What else would? This is going to go away eventually. We've got all this happening here. Backside of this? Could be interesting. It still leaves a good path, whereas the hay barrack didn't. Though, this is something I do wish was in a little bit further. Don't want to compound that problem. By putting you there. If I did, it'd have to be in a little deeper like that. I think that works. We'll drop that into there. So, more carts in that area to help that one. The other carts are out over here. And then we have carts down here. Carts will be right there when this goes away. And then carts over here. Is there a reason for carts over here? They don't use carts. Well, they use carts to haul lumber or wood out of here. They could use carts, well, they might use carts, I don't know, to haul from the hay dryer to here. This is, maybe they'll use carts to haul wool, I don't know. So I guess it's possible. You are a warehouse. Just trying to decide. We do have these guys going in too. There's nothing in this area. This is all void. Okay. Then let's put maybe a cart parking right there. There or there. Yeah, I think that works. Okay, another cart parking at that point. Right now we're trying to get a second one of these going. Let's get... Hmm. So let's... Apply to all and apply to all. There we go. So this one should start functioning like the other ones. Let's try something here. Um, we'll do it from here. And let's see. Turn all of you off. And grab everything that's not in this area. Hopefully that worked. We'll know more when I delete everything from there and transfer it to here. Okay. Everybody's working on this one. That ought to be done pretty quick. Alrighty. Um, after that, we've got this cart parking to do. And then we can actually start demolishing these and think about moving that little chapel in. Yeah. Let's let them finish this one. Speed it up a bit. And let's see if we can't uh, make this look pretty good. These trees may have to go, not sure. You are what? Down to 10 logs. And we are in May. And you will hire again in June and July. So those two months in a row ought to catch you up easily. Okay. You are still a problem with feeding the oxen and you're fine. So... How are we doing salt-wise? We've been just kind of putting this place on pause for a while. The city in general, in salt, we've, we're 5,000 to the good. Okay. Um, completed and completed. What? Oh, all the materials are already there, apparently. Wow. Let's slow down a bit so I can think. Salt is stored here. 
and we're grabbing it to put into different market stalls. We were storing it here, and I think it's time to maybe turn you back on. So let's... On season, off season. It might be easier just to do that. Well, that may be confusing later. Let's go ahead and turn them back on, except for March and August. Let's turn May, October, and and December back on. Let's go that route. Get a little more salt back into the system since we are selling it. This salt is unlimited, right? There's, well, there's really no way to tell. There isn't a something I can click on, to, like the limestone pile over there. I'm assuming it's unlimited. So, just a matter of being able to store it, because we weren't able to sell it. That's right. We, there were limited quantities they were willing to buy. Okay. Um, these are done. So let's fire you and turn all of you off. Hire you. Um, before that, let's go here and apply and apply. Okay. So with that, you will be a woman and working those months and this must not be one of those months uh, okay so in that case well we can still do this that's everything this is anything I got missed okay um, turn all these back on again so we transferred the settings and there may be other items that show up later that we just don't have available now to trigger the automatic buy from locals. Otherwise, you need to be made empty. And let's hire in to make sure that happens. And you are already there, so demolish you. Let's transfer you guys into here. Once that's done, we will demolish this one. Man, we did not hire, but we got a laborer to help out. Good. <clears throat> All right, we have blossoms. We have fruit trees. And more over here. And we have the apple orchard over here. Good. And you have 18 left, and you have 10 left. So we're not working on you yet. Actually, we are. We're just getting to the 10. You are being worked on next. Um, lost you. There. So, little chapel in the trees there. I thought that would look good. All right, so we're ready to tear down this one. And take you... To actually, we'll take you to there. Get that done. You. We have a worker who is. Arvin Cave. Now, you are the one that we buy. You almost done? And. Next person that walks in. Come on, who's doing it? There. Okay. You can be demolished. And move you to the front as well. You, as soon as someone gets around to doing that, will demolish you. But let's head over to... Actually, you're here, right? World map. And... What do I want here? Right there. I want 1,000 sheepskin. And deal. So 4,400 in the treasury, and that evens out our broadcloth and, and sheepskin once again. Wool, glaze, iron, lime, buckwheat. Um, we could bring in. Yeah, we could bring in maybe 1,000. That's a good chunk of cash, but yeah, let's do that. So that's going to be rolling in here as well. Uh, nothing to sell. Nothing much. No. Okay. So we're good there. 
And you are doing what? You're here to buy something. Oh, you're here to buy 500 sunflower oil. Okay, cool. Yeah, bringing it out, loading it in, and off you go. Okay. And let's see. What was I working on when that happened? We're tearing these down to get this chapel set. So let's speed that up and see if we can make it happen before this episode's over. Another ship coming in. Do we have a second trade? I... That was here. Okay, we're buying mead. Yeah, we're buying mead still. Okay. So plenty of alcohol in the system to make the tavern work. Still 195 citizens. And no, I'm not in a race to hit 200, so... Don't need to write in and lecture me on getting cramming more houses in as fast as I can. We're taking our time here and enjoying this. Um, you guys are up and running. Still can't get somebody hired. or I never seem to be here. Oh, it's still the same month. That's why. Okay. 14 years we've been going. Interesting. What's the exclamation point? Ah, demolish. Move you out to there. I see. We're still tearing down the one. So we just have had very few people working. Okay. Um, I don't think there's any other irons in the fire right now, right? Got everything planted. Ten logs. Next month that hires again. Did we fill this? 2,800 so far. She is taking a rest. And, yeah, we don't have enough carts going, going on, but we will soon. That looks like a cart parking right there. <laughs> and the other one's going to be there. Uh, demolition of a small granary. Good. So demolition goes pretty quick. Demolition, wow, it really does when everyone gets to work. Okay. Look at the dust coming off of this as they're tearing it down. Interesting. I've never noticed that before. Come on, guys. Tear it down. I want to set something else here, although I probably can't. They'll probably leave building materials right in my way. But I'm thinking right out of here. Hmm. Do we do another arch? I wonder. I wonder if, that, if I could even do that. Now, it'll be a while yet. Interesting how it looks like oh, it comes off as an exact match alignment-wise, but when you get over to the other side of the road, it looks crooked. The yellow down there is, is rolling downhill on one side. Yeah. So, I could have it perfectly straight and it still won't look straight. But how did I do in there? That's a lot better. Look at that. Yep, I spent quite a bit of time aligning that, but it's, it's hard to do it when you can't see the buildings. And when you're dealing with with just yellow squares, rectangles. Okay, well, you think it wouldn't take this long to take this down. There's a lot of boards. I don't know what percentage we really get back. You'd think we get it all back as we bring in each individual piece, but... I'm pretty sure. And where's... Will it give me just the pile? It won't. Not till the site is done. Okay. There we go. Now it's 5,000 boards. That's quite a bit. And 51 nails. What does it cost to build that? I don't get that by clicking on this, do I? Uh, no, it doesn't display anywhere the materials. So you're here. Small granary. 6,000 boards and 127 nails. Okay. You go away. You go away. And I guess that's it. So if I were to do something like this, it would go somewhere like that. 
And boy, that looks like it's off to the side a little bit, doesn't it? Let's try from this side. Yeah, something like that. And the little chapel is here. Small chapel. And I guess just something like this. I don't know what all happens in here. Do I have another small graveyard around it? Or do we just do some benches and some chairs? That's probably the answer. It doesn't necessarily belong next to a chicken coop. But, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, I think I better call this done here. We're into June, and you guys still haven't hired. What is actually happening here? May, you should have been hired. Oh, look at that. Something got scrambled. Okay, on season, off season. Let's just get these things hired so that I can get uh, people in here and, and, and make sure that everything is where it should be. Okay. So... I think with that, I'm going to call this done. I am running on fumes right now. And, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye-bye.